Welcome once again to the annual Joko meeting 2019. Well, Jack Nicholson Joker. Oh yeah, where's the party? He let you Joker. Well, I don't see any problems with this, what I'm doing right now. Yeah. Mark Hamill Joker. <laughs> and, uh, Jared Leto Joker. We got a new member this year and this Joker is a little bit special because this Joker is suffering of mental illness. This Joker right here is a bit off but I want you guys to give a warm welcome to Jabo Phoenix Joker. aka chocolate face no makeup and this film has been one of the most anticipated films of 2019 uh, uh, or I've been loving this development of this film uh, for a while now since I heard that Jack Will Phoenix was a part of this film I was hooked uh, the only thing that I was a little bit scared of was the director Todd Phillips he does some hits but he also does some a lot of misses so I had the opportunity to see this film yesterday, a week advance before its premiere, and I am happy. Let me just shut up and let me do my review of the film. I think you already know what film I'm talking about, of course, it's Joker. <laughs> Starring Jack Wild Phoenix, Robert De Niro, Zazzy Beats, and Brian Terry Henry. And the plot of the film is about, of course, this film is about Joker. This film is a character story about Arthur Fleck, who is a comedian, a failed comedian, and somebody who's dealing with a lot of stuff, especially his health. And he feels like the society is alienating him and by feeling that he decides to revolt the society he feels disregarded by yeah 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 like i said this film has been one of the most anticipated films of this year mostly because this is a new take of the villain joker like guys one of my favorite comic books of all time is a killing joke by alan moore that comic book is amazing. And by knowing that Marcus Scorsese was one of the executive producers, I was in. I was in, in, in. And I'm not going to chit chat. I'm just going to say it. I love this film. This is one of the best films of 2019, hands down. This is top three, the best film of 2019. Uh, let me just do my good, bad, and ugly so you can understand why I love this film a lot. Yeah, I'm just gonna start with my good. What can I say? Jaguar Phoenix is, he shines in this film. He outshines everybody. Like, his acting in this film is so good. In the end, this film has a lot of layers and that's what I really, really like about this film. And I think Jaguar Phoenix does a great job by portraying out the flick and just like the first two acts you get to understand about him and why he feels so much alienated uh, about this society he has no luck at all like at all everything around him destroys and he feels like he has nothing except a girl or a, his neighbor played by Zazie Beats that's the only thing that he feels like wow I can, I can get that because that is something that I really can connect to and that makes me really really happy except that he got nothing everything from his day job to his relationship with his mom to his dream about being a comedian everything is just going downhill and you just get to see his life 
how his life just gets destroyed. His acting is outstanding. He needs to get nominated by the Academy or even win a Golden Globe because his portrayal is really, really good. First of all, he looks so skinny. He is so skinny. He looks so messed up. The laughs is, he can't control the laughs. And when he start twitching, he start laughing, you're like, oh my God. This is somebody on the edge of being crazy. And he, you believe him. You believe that this person is about to lose his mind. Jaguar Phoenix, I always liked him as an actor, but I always wanted to see him in, in, in a comic book genre. Even though this film doesn't feel like a comic book genre, it does. So his acting, wow, he is really, really good. He is. To me, this is one of the best performances of this year. And my next good thing about this film is the direction. The direction is, it is amazing, man. Todd Phillips does a great job by not shining away uh, from the grittiness at all. This Gotham City feels nasty and dirty and people around Gotham City is f***ing scums, man. I don't like anybody <laughs> in Gotham City. And my ass don't want to visit Gotham City at all after seeing this film. But the direction is really good because this film could be a make it or break it film. Like Todd Phillip makes sure to not sugarcoat it at all. This is the DC version of Requiem of a Dream. Uh, the direction made me feel nasty. Like I wanted to take a shower after watching this film. So Todd Phillips, you surprised me because I'm not the biggest fan of your direction. I, w I did not like War Dogs. I uh, am in the minority of not liking it. But the first Hangover was really good. The other one sucks. Uh, I love old school. I'm not the biggest fan of him, but at the same time, he surprised me. This is the perfect film film to go out with a bang if you don't know this is his last film to direct so yeah man the, the direction is really good and the next good thing about this film that I really really like is the supporting cast everybody from Zazzy beats to Robert De Niro Robert De Niro is not in this film a lot but he's a scum man I did not like him in this film and he did a great job by making sure that we did not like him, but at the same time, we do like him. Because Arthur Fleck is not the character to root for. He is a sick individual. But Robert De Niro is the audience avatar. He asked him, he, yeah, he asked him the questions that we audience wants to ask. This film is in the gray zone. Everybody has a nuance uh, as a character. They're not flawless. They're not perfect. Everybody has a little bit of flaw to them. Yeah, he's an asshole. And Zazie Beats, she's once again proving us that he, she's one of the better actresses out there. She is great. She is great. And I really, really felt sorry for her character in this film. I gotta say it again, the, the, the reason why I like Jack Wall Phoenix is that he is fearless and his character has a lot of depth. Yeah, the physicality, the way he walks, the way he moves. You, you see this sick man that is about to lose his mind. And it's just like, oh my God, what is going on? He had to do all of this to become this character. It, it's amazing, man. It's amazing. Another thing that I really, really liked about this film is the first two acts. I think the first two acts are amazing because it builds Arthur Fleck. I think the first act does a great job by making Arthur uh, a, a tragic person who has a lot of layers to him, who's been going through a lot of shit. And the second act, you start to see how he's on the brink of losing everything and he can't take it anymore. <laughs> the next good thing about this film is the music. The music is great because it, it has a lot of old school music, but at the same time, the, the score by, I don't remember his name, but it's an Icelandic uh, composer. He did a great job by making this music feel uh, nasty and chilling. And I like that, man. I like the music because the music is also a tool 
for the development and the story of Arthur. You, you can't help yourself to see this beautiful cinematography and this beautiful music mixed well. My second to last good thing about this film is the cinematography. The cinematography is so good because the cinematography I know that Todd Phillips took a lot of inspiration from the old Martin Scorsese film like Taxi Driver and The Comedian and uh, Rumble, is it Rumble in Bronx? I don't remember that, but Rumble something. You see that, but the cinematography is really rough. It feels shitty. It feels very New York-ish. I don't know how he did that, but it feels old. It feels gritty. It does not... It, it doesn't even, it not, yeah, it doesn't feel new. It doesn't feel refreshing. It feels old, shitty, and just dirty. Uh, the first two acts is a bit dark. When it becomes Joker, you start to see the cinematography uh, have a bit more lights and a bit more shine and a bit more sepia tone to it. And my last good thing about this film is that this film is about a character that is based on a comic book and this could be like this typical DC comic book film and I like that Todd Phillips took the liberty of doing what he really wanted to do by telling this story this story needed to be told this is showing us audience how you can make a, a, a realistic comic book film feel good like this film doesn't feel like a comic book film. It just doesn't. It's like a, a character study, but in the end, it's also a little bit Joker. <laughs> if you know what I mean? It's just it's a, it's a weird blend, but I like it, man. This could be everything else. This can be whoever, but this character became Joker. Todd Phillips made a great job by not making it pretentious at all. He made it realistic. He made it. Uh, true for us people and people who's not even involved in comic book films who doesn't even like comic book films will enjoy this film a lot this is a great mix of comic book gritty movies from the 70s uh, uh, old Martin Scorsese's film and Requiem for a Dream that was all my good so whew my god let me talk about my bad and like i said my first bad thing is the the third act the third act it becomes this typical comic book films the bang bang action typical film he had to make it uh, he had to make it uh entertaining for the audience because it's a lot of shit that makes us a little bit like the first two acts it's just too much you feel dirty it, it, it hits so hard that it can become a little bit tired so he had to end with action i understand that but i like the first two acts i like the the the, the slow burn of a film so when i saw the third act coming i wasn't prepared for that and it, it was a little bit it caught me off guard i was not 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 prepared for that but I like the first two acts so much that I went along for the ride. But if the first two acts wasn't that strong, I don't think this film would be that good. And my last bad thing about this film is that this film is not for everybody. You have to be a bit prepared. You have to be a little bit invested. You have to know what this film is about. Oh, so yeah. Uh, that was all my bad about the film so let me just do my and my ugly is that trust me guys a lot of people right now are spoiling the twists in this film don't watch the spoiler thread on reddit don't do it because 80% what this person wrote on reddit is accurate why why doing that why you destroying this experience of, of joker <laughs> that just got me pissed off i saw somebody when i watched the trailer i saw somebody spoil the whole film and it's like why why do that why why do you want to destroy it for somebody who really excited to see this film uh, don't don't so please
please don't read the comments don't read anything on reddit don't read anything when it comes to the comments because if you are it will destroy your experience it will trust me anyways guys joker is one of the best films to me i love this film this film is truly a masterpiece and i enjoyed this film a lot uh, mostly because of Jack Wall Phoenix performances because he did a great job and the cinematography and the direction is really really good is a transcending a transcending masterpiece when it comes to the DC Universe and this film deserves to get nominated because this film is it shows that you can take something ridiculous as, as, as a Batman comic book and make it realistic and make it worthwhile if you know what I mean so please watch this film please I recommend you guys watch it my rating of Joker 2019 I give it 4.5 out of 5 like I said I love this film a lot the first two acts are amazing Jack Wall Phoenix acting in this film is really, really good. This film does not have CGI. This is not a reboot thing. This is a truly new story about how one guy who has mental issues is on the edge. Jack Wall Phoenix does a great job. He put his blood, sweat, tears to this character. And you see that. And you can't help to smile. This is a great film from start to finish. Even though the finish was a little bit lacking, I still enjoyed it a lot. I am so happy that I had the opportunity to see this film. Please guys, see this film as soon as it comes out. Just do it. You will be happy. This is one of the best films in 2019. I'm telling you guys, believe the hype. Believe the hype. Everybody was raving about this film on TIFF. Everybody was raving about this film on uh what else that the venice film festival i don't remember that but the venice film festival thing i was a little bit skeptical when i saw that because i was like oh i'm not really sure but i have to i have to go along with them i have to go along with what everybody's saying this is one of the best films of this year this is so good this is a masterpiece anyways guys 4.5 out of 5 for joker so having seen joker 2019 what do you like about joker did you like it? Did you not like it? Are you excited to see it? Are you not excited to see it? Write your comments down below and let me know. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to click on the notification bell. So every time I upload a new video, you will be the first to see it. My name is Alfie, aka Rabbit Black, aka Chocolate Face No Makeup. And that was my review for the film Joker. Until next time, guys, I'm giving you out there. Peace. Random Black Guy.